I need glasses. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was Jen. Um, I just I just didn't expect Vivi to play immediately again. I don't know why again. I didn't um, I don't know why I didn't fight you. Poor Vivi, it. dude. Like he has to like play again right after losing. Yeah, that's, you know, that, some, that sucks some, when that happens. Some people don't mind that. You know, some people just want to like they don't want to wait like in between matches. They want to keep their momentum going. You know, just like what one momentum? match to the next to the next. What momentum? The, the, the losing yeah, momentum? Gotta, yeah. Is that I, what you're I, talking I, about? I don't like, know. Some people don't like to take too long of breaks in that's between fair. their matches. But I don't know. I don't know how VB is. I don't know if he's like that. I really I really can't judge. But either way, we got ourselves a good old-fashioned Pokemon battle here in Loser's Top 6 of of Xeno. I was about to say something else. I'm a legend. Man, I mean, you said Pokemon battle, and I was thinking, wow, you can witness this in Pokemon Tournament. And then I remembered that Greninja not in that game. I know a lot That's of very silly. I, I know a lot of fans want him in that game, but regardless, we got Vivi pushed him off stage with that down air. He's doing a, a way better job than he was against Dill. I feel like the, there's just like this mental block he had against Dill in that set. Like, he just couldn't like land a swing. It's going a lot better here against Venia. I recognize he's going to go for the uh, neutral air from midair. Get the combo started. Ooh, nice get him call with the diamond cutter. Out. He's still living. He's a little bit too low for Sim. My man's gonna shout his name to let you know what he did just did to you. I was just Down tilt to, to up smash. I was just about to say. A lot Greninja. of people, you know, Greninja's not a very common character. Some people joke about like, oh, I forget Greninja's in this game. Sometimes I forget about that. And he's here to remind you. He's here to come out here. He's gonna say his name twice, doing the same move over and over and over again, saying his name. I am Greninja, letting you know where he is. One. Venia is one of the best ones in the world. Uh, yes, sir. Got him sitting at 106 percent. Trying to follow up with that neutral air just in case he would have teched in place or missed the tech. Oh, that's a very Ven uh, Greninja thing to do, or a Venia thing to do. Uh, he goes to that downer. He was expecting Vivi to be down there, or I, I, he went for either way too hard of a read and thinking he was going to be down there, or it was a miss but one of the two. Because it's not, it's actually not surprising to see Venia go for something like that. No, not Which at is all. why I don't think maybe it wouldn't have been a miss. Because normally I would say, oh, that's a miss input, but I think he dead ass thought Vivi was going to be down there. Yeah, not at all. Venia is definitely. He's Venia's a nut. Definitely, he's, he's, a, a nut. he's a nut. He's an aggressor. If we, if you ever done did see an aggressive player before in your life, so I would imagine that that down air might have just been a little bit of a greed play, as that up smash is going to take the first game. Uh, Vinny going up 1-0 uh, against uh, against Vivi. He might have just gotten a little hungry, a little bit, a little greedy. You know, you might be right here. You might not. Either way, I'm going to do this. Crazy. Vivi. It's absolutely crazy, but I'm going to try it. I felt like Vivi was playing a lot better when he was grounded, not jumping. Because every, every single time he jumped, I felt like he was getting hit by something and then he sent higher into the air. And every time he went to lay back down to the ground, he just fast fell. I think he wanted to challenge Venia every single time. And then up smash was always there waiting for him. That's how both of his stocks got deleted. Oh, wait, no, one of them was a down tilt up smash. My bad. Regardless, you know, up smash. Yeah. The, the finishing blow. What, Very what, common. Chaos. Whatever way you, you can get your up smashes, just get them out. It's the name of the game. Whatever way you can do it. Got him in the knockdown situation. Tech chase. Up throw back air. Getting that good damage. Again, Venia just... Uh, Greninja gets a lot off of aerials because the, a lot of them will just either great for spacing, like the forward air, or the neutral air is a great combo starter. But unfortunately, it requires him to be able to uh, force himself to be airborne, which can kind of put himself in a bad situation depending on who he's fighting against. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think in general, like... Half the time, just being in the air in Smash 4 is kind of a bad thing. Can we talk about that entire situation that just transpired? Was, My freaking god. That was just classic Venny, my dude. Yeah. I mean, he just like... I, I was just looking at that without batting an eye because I'm just like, that's just what he does. Just, that's just another day. Welcome to Xeno. You know what I mean? Like, it usually starts like that, but then he just kept it going with the tech read. Mm -hmm. just, uh, my man is just all over, up, up, in, his, up in this dude's head. Mm -hmm. Let's be real. Yeah. But being in the air in Smash 4... A lot of the time, and depending on the stage and the matchup as well, it's just never really a good thing. Because, like, your opponent is that back air, gonna do it. Aura coming into play. Shotgun blast. But, you know, there's the up air again, up smash. Oh, that should be death. Yeah. The high smash out of the skid. Hydro pump actually messing with Vivi's recovery, I think. Because there's no way you wanted to be, like, dead center stage with that much la landing lag. For sure. Okay, Vivi's still chilling. Trying to find his way back down to the ground. 
was thinking with a forward air. I thought that was going to be a neutral air to try and start something there, but Venia selecting to do a forward air instead, potentially trying to start some other forward air to a grab combo. Vivi's going to get some good damage of his own because of it, but dropping the combo. Neutral reset again with the up air, the double up air coming out from Venia right here, and these guys are just going really tit for tat right now. Just an absolute slobber knocker. Neither of these guys are an advantage. Neither of them really have like any sort of dominant stage control. These guys are swinging. Look at them. And not a single hit's being hit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the funny part. There we go. <laughs> That's the funny part, my Swing dude. Swing up the neutral B. Going to punish that no tech from Venia. Some additional damage. Now, at this point, Venia is at a jumps. So he has to go for the ledge. Smart stuff. Didn't want to try to go for the, uh, qui uh, the up special. Also, Venia is all very aware of when Vivi wants to get back down to the stage because he has his up smashes ready. So you're going to see Vivi doing a lot of double jumps, trying to stay as airborne as long as possible. Trying to bait it out. But I'm just say that was a great neutral bait coming from Venia. Sets him up for an up smash. Got to be wary of that. That's why you'll see a lot of Lucarios. They don't want to fully have a fully charged or And if they do have one, they just shoot it out so they can start charging again to allow for combos like that to connect. Only happens when they have a little bit of aura built up. Truly a classic mm. of Lucario. If you ever done did see a classic against Lucario before, the neutral B, cancel to the up smash. For a second, I actually thought it wasn't going to kill. And then I remembered it's Lucario, and everything kills at crazy percents. Now we're going, to, aura. we're going to Venia's favorite stage, man. Final destination. Mm. Yo, tell me, tell me, why is this, why is this a favorite, Aussie? For glory. My man Venia was born on the internet. Then came to a local tournament, got fourth at a random nebulous, and then discovered the local scene. It's definitely it's a comfort pick for him, and he, he feels comfortable taking like Diddy Kong to this stage. It gives him a lot of room to run around, jump all over the place, no platforms to hinder him because he says he doesn't like platforms. Right. I would imagine so. I mean, platforms can like interrupt a lot of like Greninja's uh, Greninja's like footstool combos and locks and stuff. I mean, at least on FD, no platforms to worry about landing on them and messing up those combos or anything. He's got plenty of open space, not only to do those combos, but to set them up as well. To just get himself ready, like uh, put himself in more of a prime position against his opponent to really get those. So, frankly, I'm not surprised that Venia likes this stage a lot. And I actually didn't even know he was born on For Glory. I didn't know he was a Wi-Fi warrior. Yes, sir. Originally. He was a Wi-Fi warrior in when he. First came to his nebulous, it was 2015. Ooh. Backer gonna do it. Getting a good lead, early lead against uh, Lucario right here. Exactly the position you want to be in. Almost had that up tilt read right after that tech roll. Then he, I mean, Vivi's just gonna keep doing that neutral beast stuff and does some big damage. I mean, he doesn't have that much aura, so he won't be able to get a kill off of it. But Vivi, uh, Venny's gonna assist with that. Start doing these Greninja combos like that. He cannot do these combos if there's platforms in the way. That's why, another reason why he likes the stages. I think he uses jump. Has to use his recovery to get back to the stage. Try and use his shotgun blast of a back air to just space out Venny as much as possible. Again, sees the up smash coming, opting to go for a double jump to escape near death. There Ooh. we go. Same old, same old. One more stock. Yeah, and all of a sudden, uh, despite the percent difference, uh, difference right here, we are definitely at an even game. Venia spaced him out with that forward air again. Oh, because he landed in the center of it, caught Venia in the process. Held on to forward smash a little bit too long. Vivi's starting to build up that percent. Looking big, 46%. He wants that neutral be so bad. Ooh, the power shield. Doesn't want any uh, damage to his shield to potentially get his shield broken by Lucario here and his all of his uh all of his raw power. And these guys are just swinging right now. Venia has to be really, really careful here. You're going to see Vivi do a lot of those B reverse, uh, those weight bounce and B reverse uh, neutral Bs like you see right there to try and get that uh, neutral B cancel into the up smash. You're going to be seeing a lot of back airs coming out from him. Oh my god, this is a pretty scary position for both of these players, especially Venia right here. You're going to die at some pretty wonky percents against Lucario if you're not careful. But he finds his way in with a neutral air. No conversion off of it. Going to hydro pump his uh, way, put him in a. Uh, Forcing him to be off stage just a little bit longer. Dying away to make sure no conversion uh, happens off of that down throw is Vivi. And these guys are so scary right now. That did so oh much God. shield damage. Doing the neutral B into the back here to just lower that shield as much as possible. He wants it so bad, but he's not close enough for the up smash to connect. Lands a grab, pushes him off stage. He has him at 80%. Was that neutral B, but just the simple down tilt. Vivi just... Hanging his head back, putting his hand on his forehead. I mean, you got a feel for it because he almost had that. He landed the neutral B twice against him, but because Greninja was too far away, he could not connect it into an up smash. Mm -hmm. Good awareness from him not being able to get, you know, trigger happy by like, oh, I got to confirm up smash, but he was aware.